when I opened Leva, my first um, my first concept, uh, I had just moved back from Italy, and one of the things that was so like important to me in terms of this concept was I provided a very very authentic experience. You can't take a coffee to go in Italy, then you could now tourist areas maybe, yeah. but back then no such thing. You have to sit. You have to sit. Okay. So when I opened Leva in my whole duration there was three and a half years that I was there before I moved on to open the capo mm -hmm. I didn't have to go cups so people would come in and ask me for a coffee and at that point I was very stubborn yeah. and I was like where are you going the door hasn't even closed yet come in sit down have a cappuccino yeah. I don't even know your name I can't see you smile when you're walking down the street drinking your coffee uh, relax chill out oh, yeah. this is fantastic it's unbelievable can I take four to my colleagues Tell your colleagues to come visit you here. Yeah, yeah. What I realized over time was like, well, I'm letting money walk out the doors. So I had to adapt, but I didn't actually make that change till I opened the capo. Back then, like the environment is something I'm very conscious of, and we try mm -hmm. to be really conscious in terms of what we choose for packaging, etc. Yeah. Back then, biodegradable stuff wasn't available. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, 2008, 2009, that kind of stuff was much more readily available and cost yeah. effective. Mm -hmm. Where I said, okay, now it's available. Now we can start doing to go cups, but that's when I kind of matured as a business owner and said, okay, you got to start rolling with the punches, otherwise yeah. you're not going to get left behind. Absolutely. And you that's learned, this industry for sure. You really learned how to adapt Absolutely. there, right? And that's not an easy thing to do. It's not, especially when you're stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> especially when it's like my way, the highway. Type yeah, pretty much. That's right? where it was. I would honestly, I would, I would literally give people directions how to get to Starbucks or second cup if they wanted vanilla in their lattes. Yeah. You know, I would literally say it's two blocks, make a left, it's just over there. We don't do that here. You know, now I say, listen, first latte is on me. If you don't like it, like we, we have a spectacular blend. We've worked really hard to perfect it. If you don't like it, you know, I've tried. The first one's on the house. And you know, most people are like, Oh, okay, this is a little different. You know, if sugar you crave, we've sugar on the bar. If you want to mask bad coffee, you're in the wrong place. Yeah. 